If you clean entire your house, which has not been cleaned for a number of years, think about that. If you clean your kitchen area, then it takes whole day to clean. Then after what? What do you see? It's pure shining kitchen, right? If you cook anything in that pure shining kitchen, you enjoy. And you wanted to cook some food. So imagine like each of these five, think about five rooms, cleaning five rooms. After you clean each room, you wanted to enjoy the clean room. Enjoy a clean room by sitting there by observing, by feeling, by connecting, and by just enjoying. If you clean your shrine room, if you have one, probably you don't, so that means you don't have a crown chakra. <laughs> right? Crown chakra is missing in the house. No head body. If you have one, you clean that area and you sit, like in the morning. The whole purpose of having shrine is to sit and to feel the sacredness of that space. Or if you have like, I don't know, a nice area to listen to music, you clean that area and particularly all the wires, take out all the unnecessary wires, which you don't know, it's not connected anywhere, <laughs> take them out. And the basic necessary wires, clean, organize, turn on the nice music, and sit in a nice chair, listen to the music of silence. So you sit after you exercise. You listen to the melody of the silence. Or then you clean the heart area, like a, like a I don't know, nice living, living room or something like that. La nice, warm, gathering, connecting room. You clean it, super clean. What do you want to do? You come down there, invite the rest of the family member, friends, and sit and connect. Sit and connect, where you connect with others. That's the that purpose of clean. If it's not clean, then you say, oh, it's not. I mean, I, I have uh, some friends in California that they've never invited me in their house, but I know why they did not invite. <laughs> I heard the story. There is no place you can step inside. From the doorway, it's filled. You know, you see sometimes, I don't know, see in the West, West Coast, you see more often that some cars get filled with junks. The newspaper, only when they're sitting in the car, they sit like this. Even up to this is all filled with newspaper and water and something. They're like, oh, this. Think about life is a little bit like that. Filled with the junk. And your squeeze, you're driving like this, you know. There's one empty bottle here, <laughs> which you think you need it, right? Or some newspapers. Or you come down to the navel, think about like a fireplace, nice warm fireplace. And fire is lit. You do the fire like some exercise, you clear the energy of what does not allow us to burn the fire. And now fire is burning. Fire is there. 
but somebody, observer, needed to recognize in order to make fire continuously burn. Because if the observer is there, if there's one stick needed to be removed, it will take care of it. If fire is going out of its boundary, it creates the boundary. And it enjoys the fire. Somebody got to sit in front of the fire and enjoy the fire. That's the fire room, right? I'm talking about the five rooms of each Salomon exercise in your room, right? Then the bathroom in the West, bathroom is very fancy. <laughs> the lowest chakra is very fancy, highest chakra is missing. <laughs> Marble. <laughs> Two taps. Extra lights. Unique glasses. Even, even you light candle in, in the bathroom. <laughs> in shrine, it doesn't exist, no candle. But in the bathroom, there's a candle, even the smells. Incense is there. Everything what's supposed to be in the shrine room, which is missing, <laughs> it's in the bathroom. And hopefully, you do sit there and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, even, even, I mean, even doing what you need to do in the bathroom, instead of doing, just doing it, you have a bunch of newspapers there. Mm. Magazines to look. It's hard to... So, just to conclude, <laughs> just to conclude is, when we do each of these salon exercises, opening up each chakras, so recognizing what needed to be clean and cleared, process of breath and movement is clearing it. Once it's clear, awareness needed to be sit there and enjoy and discover the quality and expand the quality through our body, speech, and mind in our life. That's what it needs to be done. So the five room in room, our house, is a good example of it. So if you don't have the, your crown in your house, so you are just trying to be a little bit aware. It, even you don't have to have a big, big brain. You can start with a small brain, right? So you can have a little corner of shrine room. At least have a little bit. I've seen houses where beautiful houses, houses and um, um, big houses, nice houses, fancy houses and everything. And uh, one time I was in Colorado, one, visiting one house there. I don't, if, I don't know if I said they'd never made a tea there, I might be lying, but hardly any use of those beautiful, this kitchen. And there was a glass a wine like, a, like this. I thought well, somebody poured the wine, but this is also a fake one. Like a glass like this, there's a wine like, it's a, it's like art. So, so it's like that. So, and that, that's not only the kitchen, but most part of the house are like that. It's really big, very fancy, but presence in those, each room, are almost none or very little. And it tells something. It tells something. It, it, it gives some message to us, a deeper message to our, our whole being. That means we are, like as Phil is saying yesterday, that means we are always rushing to get more with pain, but when we get it, there is no moment to enjoy. That's the pattern. A very, very negative pattern, a very, very weak pattern or lost pattern that we as a Western society, I think that, 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 that sense is there. Uh, I, I know 
one place where Tsering used to work in this couple's place, I heard that these two couple, they, they, they got divorced afterward, but the wife was complaining about that the husband was always wanting bigger house, bigger car, and all those things, bigger, bigger, bigger. And uh, also bigger with getting more loan, not necessarily they have the fund to get bigger, but getting more loan. And, but none of those, what they have, was not fully used or enjoyed. So this is a similar pattern that you see as a, in, as a nation, as many, many people's pattern where, in the end, it's like, what do you inquire? In, I say, inquire, inquire? Inquiring, inquiring more, inquire more is some, some sense of ab ability to, to connect and enjoy. If not, then it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Why it's not necessary? Of course, you can say, well, it's not necessary, but I still want, doesn't mind to having it. But those who are having it, they're sacrificing for it. They're working so hard to maintain it. So you don't have to work that much. Have more time. If, I mean, I mean, you can have both. I don't mind. It's okay to have both, but most cases they don't have the both. They have only one: suffer, work hard, to collect more, which you don't use. It's some pattern of what I'm trying to say. So. I'm not saying, I'm not really not talking about that. Okay, I'm talking about that, but I'm not really talking about that. What I'm talking about, the practice should not become like that. <laughs> that's, that's all.